right. Let me just double check to make sure. Yep. Mic seems to be working. Audio seems to be acceptable. Yeah. We can start. Um, I'm just going to hit continue here. Uh, this is an autosave from literally the first day, just so you don't have to sit through the uh, me making sure all the rules are correct. The rules are correct. All right. Oh, it does actually show you this again. Uh, I was sort of worried because it opens straight when the game uh, starts and sometimes if you save while well, there's a pop-up on the screen, something weird happens. Um, but yeah, we're back on the Foden mod. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it... <laughs> it doesn't bother me about it until I start streaming. It's hilarious. Okay, whatever. Um, back on the Foden mod. Uh, this was updated... Um, three days ago, I believe. Um, they released the uh, playable version for Royal Court. Um, it is still not a full release. Um, and probably won't be for a while uh, from my lurking in the Discord. Um, but um, there's still work being done on it. So... Oh, wow, we got two. Two whole pop-ups. Got it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna see, uh, how much of this unfinished stuff comes up. Uh, I already know some of it. But, uh, yeah. Welcome back to Fire Emblem and CK3. Oh, the map. The map is so good, even though it's, like, a little bit inconsistent with some of the storytelling. But that's also not the fault of the people who made the, this map. It's the fault of the people who made the original map. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Check out the mod creators. I linked them, I believe. I linked the page in the description. Their Discord. Yeah, I linked the Steam community page in the description. Their Discord page is... Uh, their Discord server is linked on that. Uh, I didn't think to... I didn't think to link their Discord server, but I guess I could do that also. But it, it's kind of weird, because then it seems like it's my Discord server. If it's in my description. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Anyway, but, uh, yeah. We're starting. And uh, these events are new. I don't believe they were here the last time we played. Um, but um, I don't think it's completed. But there's an event chain that kicks off at the start that makes the um, Adrestrian, um, Adrestrian War actually happen. Um, yeah. In the south, the mysterious Flame Emperor has been revealed as Edel... Oh, spoilers. <laughs> The mysterious flame emperor has been revealed as Edelgard von Hresvelg, heiress of the Adressian Empire. Following the abdication of her father and coronation ceremony, Edelgard now plans a revolt against the authority of the church. Declaring the Church of Seros and the Crestbury nobility corrupt, Empress Edelgard prepares her assault on Garigmoth Monastery, where she once was learning with her peers about a month ago. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna uh, actually declare war on the Church of Seros. Um, cause that's not what happened when I tested this, but we'll, we'll see. They're gonna declare a war on somebody. Um, but alright. Starting situation. Um, we are Edgar Von Edmund, um, the adoptive father of Marianne Von Edmund. Um, who I would prefer to just play as, but, you know, canonically she doesn't have this land um, currently in the timeline um, 
So uh, we'll try. Hope, like hopefully, <laughs> she doesn't like die. Um, young. I know, being depressed, that does happen sometimes, so before we do anything, I'm going to forbid her from being a knight. Yeah, no. <laughs> Stop that. Bad. You will die. Um, one of the major changes from last time, I'm already distracted, is um, the Leicester Alliance is a feudal kingdom now. It's not... Um, it's not its own unique government type, which is honestly great. I think that they didn't need the unique government type. I'm not sure if this is even intentional, if they meant to do this or if they just did this for um, compatibility with 1.5. Um, and they plan on adding it back, but they really don't need it. They've got, I think everything's in the culture now. Um, and a lot of the feudal interactions are back. Um, because in the old system, um, you would just have a lot of the features of feudal government removed and then like nothing actually replacing them. So you just had less things to do. Um, which is fine. It's like a simplified way of playing the game, but might be good for somebody who's not super familiar with CK3, but I have 1100 hours in this game. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, that's not us. We'll look at the leisure in a second. Um, but Duke Edgar Von Edmund. Um, Grace and Compassion. These are the traits the devs have set for him. Um, I think there's evidence for these in Marianne's support. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that one because... Um, I have not seen all of the supports. Um, I haven't sit through those hour long videos. Um, but um, for sure, he's uh, like politically motivated, adopting uh, a crest born child, um, trying to uh, make sure nobody finds out what crest she actually has. Um, she like, uh, he like tries to be in by lefts, uh, like he tries to gain favor with like everybody. Um, I think Marianne says that she, uh, she was sent over to join by left in the war phase, um, basically just to, um, be in the good graces of, uh, of Byleth's other students, essentially. Um, but, uh... Yeah. So, this Fickle trait is, uh, random. Every time that I've started the game, he starts with a different trait here. Um... But these are the core ones. Um... Uh, improvident is also important here, um, because he makes uh, a sizable donation to the Church of Saros, um, which I'm not sure if we're going to literally do, but, you know, I'm, I'm already off track. <laughs> um, his stats suck, um, obviously he's not like an important character or anything. Um, not very smart, he's not very good at leading. We might play him kind of stupid. Because, uh, this is funny. And if he dies young because of it, whatever. <laughs> Just means we play as Marianne faster. Okay. Um, so we'll worry about marriages in a second and lifestyle and stuff. Um, but the 100% first thing we're going to do... is um, pay homage to our liege, uh, Leader Oswald. Um, 
yeah. The Edmund Duchy, um, I believe, canonically, um, takes, um, the side of, uh, Oswald, um, in the coming like, little faction scuffle that happens in the Leicester Alliance. Um, so, clearly we respect him. Um, so we're gonna do that. Now here's the question. <laughs> we definitely give a gift. This is a terrible idea, but we're gonna do it. Um, because we're improvident. And, like, politically minded. Um, so, whenever we pay homage, I'm gonna try to give something. Um, so, we will bestow gifts. Uh, oh boy. Servants usher me to leader of Oswald's great hall in Deirdre, where he sits uh, on his throne waiting to hear my pledge. I go to kneel before him, but in my haste, awkwardly stumble in a heap at his feet. I hold myself up to make the oath all the same, my cheeks burning red before the assembled court. My attendants then follow, presenting my rich gifts to the leader before the assembled court. My surprise, Oswald acts as if nothing had happened and accepts my homage with grace. Just leech after all. Great dude, but we lost more, um... Get a bunch of renown for that, wow. Um, I just leech after all. That will help. Um, we're gonna have things to do with renown, I imagine. Okay. Um, next step. Uh, nominate successor. Um... We don't think that we have a chance. Um, so I am going to vote for Claude here. Um, we know that the leader's gonna die soon. We know that nobody's voting for us. So we want to um, ensure that who we vote for is the person who wins. And since we expect Claude to win, we should vote for him. Politically minded. Um, name of the game here. All right. Uh, lifestyle. We are stewardship. This seems off center. This one. Oh, I guess they are all just like this. These are cipher card arts, right? I imagine just in the center of the card art, and some of them are like asymmetrical. Not a hundred percent sure. I'm choosing, but uh, of course we. Um, click Anna whenever uh, whenever we are allowed. And by that I mean we're a stewardship lifestyle. <laughs> um, oh, does it actually make sense for us to do this? I don't think we do. Okay, I don't have to click off. We can just go over here. <laughs> um, I think being gregarious and compassionate, we would do a lot of diplomatic stuff. Um, so I am going to go for foreign affairs here. It's also our best stat, yeah. Alright. Let's do foreign affairs focus. I'll keep the stewardship. Well, we can't change it. <laughs> we can't reset perks out of the tree. So now that works. Okay, marriages we'll do in a second, um, not endorsed by priest. Um, let me just double check here. Um, so this is our religion. It is theocratic, yes. So our priest does have direct control over our temples. Um, so we want... So in terms of... Um, if we're going to be politics, uh, we want a, a priest who actually likes us. Um, we'll actually switch out our entire council when we get there, so we'll do that automatically. 
we can create this duchy. We do want to do that quickly. Um, this mod is everything's primogeniture, so we're um, there's no downside to creating duchies. You just get like passive prestige income for doing it. Um, and it may do something in the Leicester Alliance uh, election. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see if it changes, if like the amount of duchies that we hold changes the weight of our vote. I'm not certain. Um, court physician, yeah, we'll worry about that when we get to it. A few nights active election, Leicester Alliance. Okay. Oh, we'll worry about those um, as we go through the side window here. Um, um, so, inventory, I don't think we have anything. I'll check the inventory of our heir. Yep, she doesn't have any. Um, I'm not sure if the artifacts... Okay, there are artifacts in the, um, there are uh, three houses artifacts in this build. That's nice. Okay. Um, do you not have, I guess you don't have, um. You have artifact claims, though, don't you? No. Okay. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking of something. Okay. So there, there are a few around. Um. I don't know how many. Um, I'll check. I'll check Sylvain actually. Um. No. Okay. Yeah. So I think a lot of them are still not in this build, because um, a lot of them aren't complete yet. That is fine. Um, I feel like there was something I was going to do. Yeah, I was just checking. Um... Oh, we're going to check out our liege. Um, Magic focus, August, Celibate, Infirm. Yeah. He's not going to have any more children. He's going to die pretty soon. It's just going to be Claude. So we don't need to think too much about him. Um, but he is just... No, I see, like, Raphael, Leone. Duke Holst. Um, Hilda's brother. Judith. Nice. Um, no major court artifacts or anything. Yeah, they're still working on those, so... expected um all right marriages um this is one thing that i meant uh to do a lot of thinking about off stream but i've been busy and i haven't done it so uh let's see um so um by relevance, this is um, Felix's uncle. I think I remember them like hastily adding this guy. I think I remember lurking in chat for this. People being like, oh wait, he does have a confirmed uncle. Let's add him to the game. Um... Wow. Oh, right. I, I do have um, same-sex marriage on just because um, it exists in <laughs> Fodlin. So it seems weird to not play with it, to be honest. I guess it doesn't canonic. I, it, it doesn't, it's not like confirmed or anything. Holy, are there a lot of commoners? In this mod. 
Okay. Um. Uh, for the sake of making sure we have an heir, um, I'm not 100% sure how uh, same-sex marriage is treated. So we're probably going to test it on some unimportant heirs later. Because um, I haven't played with that optional rule, so I'm not super familiar with it. Oh my god, all these mayors and stuff. Holy shit. Um, okay. So we're not going to get, like, a matrilineal marriage with, like, Lorenz, right? That's just not going to happen. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Not even close. Um... Um, so it's probably going to be, um, a political marriage because of, um, because of who Edgar was, whether it's like a, um, it would probably be like a crest or, um, not for like inheritance, but like an alliance would be likely. Um, uh, yeah, so an alliance or a crest is probably what we're looking to get out of this. Um, Uh, so this Clayman duchy. Oh, these are the people who have Dusker right now. Um. Oh boy. Okay, so us us first. We're definitely just gonna marry for an alliance. Um, it doesn't matter if we have more children. We have um, crest priority, so Marianne will 100% inherit. Um, um, and we should have a spare. It would be so... I might just restart if we don't get it. Wow, there aren't a lot of, um, hmm. Nothing super relevant, wow. Yeah, it's super weird how Bernadetta canonically has her land, but Marianne doesn't. I guess because, like, there's evidence that Edgar still holds on to the land for a while. Um, man, you really aren't going to get anything good. Okay, so what we want is a nearby alliance. Um, Fraldarius might be as good as we're going to get here. It would be more convenient to get a marriage, like, inside of, um...
inside of the Leicester Alliance. Um... I just don't think it's realistic. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking this makes the most sense. What does this mean in this case? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Chance of children, none. Um, we'll see if this makes adoption events more common. I don't know what's, what's going to go on there. Um... Well, that's a marriage, at least. Then, um... Man. Um... Let me check to see if we can do one of the canonical endings, actually. Um, instead of doing this political shit. Um, okay, so like, Dimitri and Claude, definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> Um, Lawrence is unlikely. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot here that's possible. Um, there's like an important one here, right? No. For the filters? I know there's like a custom filter on this mod somewhere. Um, yeah, not a lot of these are likely. Um, because people are landed, um, there are... Um, I will search to see if, um, this isn't going to happen, right? Yeah, not even close. Not even a little bit. <laughs> uh... Alright. Hey, Aurelius. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. We're gonna do one of one of the canon ones. Um, <laughs> um, it's impossible to get the like actual interesting ones. Um, so let's pin Raphael. And oh my god, 
I really just... Um... Okay. <laughs> I really struggled to find Ignatz's haircut. Yeah, we'll we'll do this one. Oh, did I just crash? I did just crash. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna happen sometimes. It isn't it isn't it probably isn't the mod. Um let me just check my hard drive while I <laughs> Fix this mess. Um, no, hard drive space shouldn't be the problem. I, I fixed that already. Okay. Yeah, it's starting back up. I got this on SSD now. It's going to take a lot less time. Um, it's kind of annoying that it happened in the literal first day, because that means there were no autosaves. Um, so we're gonna speedrun everything. <laughs> Why are you synchronizing Steam Cloud? That's so unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> um... I might have to restart Steam if it's going to do this nonsense. Alright. We're going. Where are going? Get in there. Um, yeah. Man, how could we, like, is it possible for us to swing one of the more interesting marriages? I don't think so, right? Because they're like Dimitri and Claude. Um, we're just not going to get matrilineally. Like, that's so impossible. Um, there's Ferdinand, who's inheriting a duchy. Uh, Lynn Hart, who's inheriting a duchy. Ash has a duchy. Lorenz is inheriting a duchy. Lorenz would be, like, the most likely of the people who are inheriting. Um... Let's speed run through this. Um, um, so we will petition liege the same way. Nope, not petition liege. <laughs> Pay homage and bestow gifts. Uh, I think it went the same way there, which is neat. Nominate successor, we're voting for Claude because we want to be on his good side. We're doing diplomacy foreign affairs. Um These we will all sort. Uh we will marry Wow, this is really as far as we got. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna ally with Fraldarius. Um, because they are very close by. Um, and, uh, fairly powerful.
Um, and uh, even though Oswald, not Oswald, Edgar, is politically minded, he does have the compassionate trait, and there is a reason for that. Um, so... We'll do... One of these... Um, and I think the only reason um, Raphael space stats <laughs> holy shit Let's just take a look at yeah we're not really like war minded um either of our characters um so i think on like tiebreaker pick something that makes more sense we're gonna pick ignatz here um i would rather like marry into vargas nobility um because I prefer blue lions for the most part. Um, but that's like really not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I'm probably never gonna do this another playthrough, but uh, we're gonna marry a delicate Ignatz. He has quick. And his, his base stats are, like, much better than Raphael's. Um, yeah. I think this is a good idea. Let's end that proposal. And then uh, go through everything here. Um, we will up Crown Authority. Um... We probably aren't going to max this out as a compassionate, like, gregarious character, but um, we'll do things as they make sense. Um, military. Um, uh, we'll go through to see what meta arms make sense later. Um, Considering, like, where we're located, it might be, like, a, a Pegasus Knights type type deal. Like, Pegasus Knights, Dark Knights. Those types. Uh, we're not going to revoke that now. What is worrying is our knight count. Um... Uh, Oh, we have to remember to forbid Marianne from fighting. Because um, she is already very likely to die. Uh, so then, we are at 7 out of 9 knights. Holy shit. We're not tribal. It's very expensive to recruit knights. Um, however, I think we would do it. Yeah. Oh my god, you're even more expensive. Why? Yeah, we're gonna waste money on that. Um, and because we're a politically motivated and, like, actually decent diplomacy character, I am going to marry off courtiers for this first generation. Um, we're not smart. <laughs> So, whether we're gonna, um, make smart decisions is up for debate.
Um, okay, we'll actually do this in a second. Um, because I forgot we have to do council first. Um, priests. Um, okay, priests can't inherit in our religion. I believe. Um, so, as much as I'd like to give Marianne that job, she wouldn't inherit if we did. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, we'll have to give her court positions, but not that one. Okay. Um, so we need, need somebody with high learning to be our priest. But Marianne's going to take the other roles. Um, like the court positions and stuff. Um, our powerful vassals, we're going to gain one who is a good spy master. Um... Because um, Oswald's just going to grant us this guy. Uh, so we'll leave these powerful vassals for now. And we'll do some switching around. Um, yeah. This is not bad. But we'll do some switching around after. Okay. Um, courtiers. Um, we are bringing Ignatz to court. Let me just check him. Oh, I did a lot of clicking, didn't I? Um... He's got good stewardship. Okay. Core positions. We need a position. It's going to be our daughter. I think... Uh, yeah, anything else really doesn't make sense. That's the only core position that we really need right now. Uh, so we will let her have it. Um, court marriages. Um, we need somebody with high learning to be our priest. Patient, diligent, and honest. Uh, lesser culture means they're probably nearby. Um, so we will do that. Um, and then, like, a couple of relevant late masters that we might have heard of, I think makes uh, as much sense as we're going to get from this. Um, yep. Uh, we might do a marshal person just to have a commander, but I don't think we need to. Yeah. And there we go. Couple relevant knights, bring them in. Already taking political advantage of same-sex marriage. With those marriages there. 
Um, yeah, we'll switch out the, the priest. Uh, we are a steward right now, which gives us a lot of money. Um, I hope we get to keep that position. We'll try to do some stuff to keep that position. Um, I think we've... We're uh, pretty much done with stuff we need to do before game start. Um... Yep, so I will save, uh, just in case we have another crash, and then uh, we will unpause. Uh, heated debate occurred today at the Alliance Roundtable as the five great lords argued over how to respond to the upcoming war. House Gloucester and House Ordalia insist the best course of action is to join the Empire while the Alliance still has the leverage and has come with promises of autonomy from the Crown. The ever faithful House Admin still insists the Alliance should aid the Church of Zeros. Yeah, that's us. Um, we don't get to make actual decisions here, this is just how the event chain goes. House Goneril is surprisingly absent. Um, having sent a raven, insisting their focus is on defending Bodlin's borders. Although sympathetic towards the House Admin, Leader Oswald declared the Leicester Alliance shall remain neutral and have no involvement in future hostilities. Time will tell if that's a wise decision. All right. Our marriages are starting to actually happen now. All right. Loyalists of the Church of Seros and Dressian Empire engage in battle while those who get to pick a side come under increasing pressure to declare what the outcome be. And then a wedding happens, we're improvident, so we're gonna pay for it. And now the alliance is at a cross. Yeah. So this is a special event war that we're gonna participate in. Despite the proclamation of neutrality by the Leicester Alliance, House Gloucester and Ardelia have raised their banners, intending to aid the Adressian Empire. House Edmund, uh, Eric Claude von Regan, and House Daphne have likewise sent aid to church forces. Both sides protest violations from the other and declare their right to intervene in the war. It seems Oswald's authority is no more. The alliance is at a crossroads. Yep, so now we're in a war. Um... That we're gonna have to help with. Um, petition leash. Uh, we'll worry about this later. Um, let's just fix up um, our council, because now we have... Um, a good priest? Or actually, our marriage is still happening? Well, regardless, um, we're going to raise, um, we're trying to be on the good side of Claude here. Um, so we're going to raise the troops, um, and likely the army ourselves. Uh, we are granting, we're getting that vassal, there we go. Um, this war is fairly hard to win as a vassal, I think. Um, mostly because that stack is pretty big. <laughs> um, and the defending AI is not great. Um... Um, so yeah, I wanted to get, um, 
one of our new courtiers to be priest, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Um, so I will sway our current priest. Um, we have a new powerful vassal. Um, discount. You have a 5k stack here. That's not too bad. Um, we will attach to the main army. Just send our troops to aid. We're not going to do anything crazy. See if we can catch the Ordelian forces up here. Um... Um, my Scythia is too young to, <laughs> to be a knight, so she's not going to die in the war. Hmm, that's bad. Some of her forces are getting caught out. But, um, these sieges are going pretty quick. Um, by default, this mod uh, changes the siege. Uh, speed. Oh my god. Edmund, man. Edgar. Uh, well. We're gonna do what's easiest for us. Interesting to see what happens. Oh my god. Okay. Um Great. Yep. <laughs> All right. We have somehow... Jesus Christ. The age difference here is... Yeah, that's great. Well, um, in terms of political maneuvering, plus 60 opinion with the, uh, with the heirs, pretty good. Um... We often visit the local orphanage when his duty permits it of late. He's been sitting in the praise of a talented young child there. She has been sitting with Okay. Maybe not she? I don't know. Um, okay, she, she here has brought the orphan to court. The orphan's name is Philip, and my priest promises that he'll be of great use to me in the future. I can clearly see the child uh, does have something special about him. Is he worth taking in? Um, he can join the court. Um, he doesn't have a crest, so raising him as her child is probably not a great idea. Maybe we do get more orphan adoption events because we're in a... Uh, We're in a same-sex marriage. They're just gonna... Alright. I'm not going to question our leader's uh, great 
efforts here. Um, mm, we have a count who's unhappy not being on the council, so we can do some moving around. Um, to put all of our accounts on the council, we just have to do a little swap. There we go. We're trying to catch them here. Oh my god, we are catching them here. And Judith is leading it, so we might actually win. Wow. Yeah, eat shit, Gloucester. That's what you get for joining the wrong side. Victory! Wow. Leader Oswald remains leader of the Alliance. Duke Richard abdicates. Leicester Alliance joins the war unification on the side of the Defender. Which means Lawrence is in charge now, eh? Yeah, look at that. If I lost, would I abdicate? Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, and now we joined the Fargus War as a defender. Holy. Oh, tea time events. Um, I'm gonna skip through these. Um, they don't happen as often as they used to, but I... S uh, Back when I used to play um, this mod a lot, I got so tired of the tea time events. They would happen once every few years, and it just. It's all the time. Uh, can we join this one? No. Okay. Oswald has joined the war. Um, so we're sort of joining the war. Child to my dynasty. There we go. Cordelia von Edmund. Uh, it doesn't have a crest, but has the blood, so can pass the crest on. It's delicate. Um. Cordelia, named after Ignatius' mom. You know what? That's a good idea. Fine, yeah. Uh, we will pin that child. Is a possible heir to the throne, depending on how many children um, Marianne has. Okay. Um, so let's start doing some council shenanigans here. Um... We only have three of eight of our domain. And we don't like that. Um, we have a vassal who we don't like very much. And who doesn't like us very much. So we are going to try to fabricate his territory. There we go. And we're also saving up money to get this uh, Kupala Duchy. One of the coolest things that's implemented in this mod um, is that uh, we, because of our faith, cannot declare war up here. It's just not a thing we're allowed to do. Um, uh, so... 
It is this Fodlin isolationism. Um, it's not actually listed here, but down here, prevents people from waging reckless wars outside of their own continent. Because it wasn't, it wasn't done. So you need to change religions in order to declare war out. Um, which I believe, yeah, Edelgard's uh, religion can do it. Safety. Nice. We're mostly going to be doing our own thing up here, though. Nice. Yeah, nice tea time. Whatever. Mostly chilling now, um, trying to get money, we're fabricating that claim. There's a mine up here that we really want. Um, so the idea is that we fabricate this claim, we try to revoke it from them, they're gonna rise up against us, um, and then if we beat them in that war we can take both counties. Um, one because we have, this one because we have a claim, and this one because they rebelled against us. Um, compliments. Uh, I'll compliment her ambition. Seems pretty accurate. Um, so we're getting 0.6 gold. A, a bit of money. Um, Oh boy. The uh, Goneril split here. Um, we're not the culture head, and we're probably not going to be the culture head. Unless we start leading the alliance at some point. Which may happen. Uh, there's going to be some shit that happens when uh, Claude inherits. Um, because when his father dies, he will have a claim on Almira as well. Um, so there will be some wars. So I believe... So when Oswald dies, um, Tiana, um, Claude's mother, will get a claim. Um, and then when she dies, her children will get a claim. And they will um, essentially attack Lester Alliance. Oh, there's a new culture in Gaspard. Look at that. Wow, even the neighboring territory took the culture as well. Um, I think befriend just makes the most sense for who we are. Um, oh, and there we go. Now we can nominate a successor. So who is Claude voting for? Um, okay. Uh, we are going to vote for ourselves here and see if it happens. Um, Vessels informed me that of an obscure law in the county of Kupala that states that none other but the Duke may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Count Kupala, my vassal and current ruler of the county of Kupala, in his place. The law is clear, the Duke has full rights. Look at that. We don't even need that claim.
That is our mine, good sir. Rally the troops. How dare you? Uh, this is a defensive floor. Uh, Rodrigue is not busy. We did all that political maneuvering, we may as well use it now that our vassal has the audacity to rise up against us. We are being given the Chancellor position, so that's not as good as being the steward. Um, but we will take it. Um, that is still fellow vassal opinion and some prestige per month. Oh, we took the air hostage there. Um, let's just make sure our prisoners are okay. You can join us, no worries. Um, hmm. You unfortunately have an aggravated wound there. And look at that. Um, Rodrigue's troops are already here. Nicely done. Um, this is 250 gold, yeah. It's gonna be a while before we can get that duchy. Once we take the capital here, I think it's very likely that we just win. Yeah. Enforce demands. Yep, she's a known criminal, so we can take the county of Radova. And then, um, we also have a claim on the county of Kupala, so we can revoke that as well. Um, our other vassals, uh, we like. Um, so we're not really worried about, you know, dealing with them right now, but it might happen eventually. Um, we don't hate you so much that you need to be in here, though. So you can leave. And with that money, we are now the Duke of Cupola. Which now that we control that territory directly, I think it makes a lot more sense to call ourselves the Duke of that, uh, of that duchy with only two counties in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like Fargus is winning in their war. Um, they've got pretty much everyone on their side, so. Um, the Adressing Empire has logistics on their side because all of their troops are coming from one empire. Oh my fucking god. This tomatoes event. We're gonna import tomatoes. Um, but I remember... I remember... playing this last year and being so annoyed at the tomatoes event firing all the time. Yeah, 
there's a there's a shortage of tomatoes. Um, so we're going to start upgrading our land. Um, there are special buildings in the works here uh, that you can see. Um, but they're not done. So um, we might build beehives. Probably not. Yeah, we're going to stick with um, the built-in buildings for, for this playthrough. Um, the removed buildings are just the military ones, which I usually wouldn't do anyway. Um, wow. Duke Lear. Why is that a strong hook? Oh, adultery is criminal. Okay. Okay, I see. Uh, sure, we will accept that one. Um, we need to befriend some folks. So this guy's gonna be our vassal for a while. Um, so I think it makes sense. We would befriend him. Um, we're already at max opinion with our priest, who is uh, probably gonna die. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Dressian Empire trying to siege down Garrett Monk. better at something else? Not really. Um, should we give our son-in-law Ignatz a role? Um, I think so. Yeah, send a shawl. We'll appoint him. Um... We need the control growth, so I think that makes a lot of sense. And he is quite good at this stewardship stuff. Oh my fucking god. Yep, we're gonna keep paying for tomatoes. <laughs> It's it's like an April Fool's update, how often that thing fires, and you just have to throw all your money at it. Like, imagine if we were struggling with money, and that was happening. I'm gonna ignore him. My rival is doing shit. Oh, so did that change um, our power in the election? Having a second duchy title? No. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really say how it works. Um, I think it is just like the five main duchies. Um... Regan, Edmund, Gloucester, Goneril, and Ordelia. Not Ordelia. Daphnel. Ordelia doesn't have voting rights. That's interesting. I want to 
do a, a run as Judith at some point. It's interesting how she starts like pretty old with no children. It's kind of hard to play around. But I imagine with adoption, that's not as bad. Oh my god. Look at that. Petra has taken Archbishop Rhea prisoner. Yeah, because she allied with the Adressian Empire. Um, oh, do they have concubines now? What's going on there? Is that part of the... Um, Yes, it's part of the culture they can have concubines. Um, that helps a lot, because usually what would happen is Edelgard just wouldn't have any children, and then she would die, and then one of her vassals would inherit. Um, okay, we don't quite have enough troops to go over and stop this from happening. Pleasant man, there we go. Uh, there's the only vassal who we really need to befriend. Um, now we have fellow vassals who we want to befriend. Um, notably, Goneril. There we go. Um, we'll do Thoughtful. Uh, I don't know if we're going to send gifts. Defensive negotiations makes sense that we're probably not going to get much use out of it. Ducal Conquest. Yeah, I don't think this is ever going to happen. Um, we'll see though. Someone's trying to kill Henry. He has two rivals, so that's probably why. Have him marry, I guess. I'm not going to be constantly checking to see if we have unmarried courtiers. Um, but, you know, every once in a while we can scroll through. Why would you leave? You're married to the court physician matrilineally. That's not correct. Yeah, that generally shouldn't be happening. Um, oh, Philip is 16. Uh, husband is trying to help me. Yeah. We can be friends with him. Sure. Let's go. Um, oh, my lord, what is this crest? <laughs> um, okay. Let's get my prowess here. You know what? Sure. <sighs> if we can get a crest bearer to court. Why not? 
Um, oh, there's an agent in the murder scheme. Okay, these are knights that we don't care about that much. Um, we will just be exposing them. Oh. Well, oops. <laughs> um. You know, sometimes you just make that mistake. <laughs> upgrades in our capital um, as often as we can, so farms and fields. Um, we're still befriending Duke Holst. We also want to befriend Judith. Um, why are you heir? That's gonna update at some point. Who understands me? Yeah. Yeah, her husband is actually like. A friend of ours and not some rando. Oh, that's good. Oh my fucking god. We're losing so much money to the tomato shortages. Okay. Um, now that the war is over, we can pay homage. Um, okay, so since we're already lovers, I think the implications of uh, demonstrating submission um, are a lot funnier, and the other stuff doesn't matter as much. There we go. Um... And we'll also, also petition Liege. Um, um, I would prefer to urbanize the county. Um, however, he can't afford it. That's why we can't do that one right now. Interesting, that because he doesn't have the money. Okay. Oh, we got our dynasty legacy. Um, customs, no sense. Warfare, no sense. Um, I think law makes sense here. Um, yeah, the, the political maneuvering stuff, to me, is like law or erudition. You could say guile, um, but our current guy isn't very guilely, and Marianne won't be very guilely. Okay, so because the heir is Marianne, I'm going to go for erudition here. We'll go down this tree. Or vibrant court. Yeah. Because the relevant member of our dynasty is um, going to be on the uh, on the smarter end. I think that makes more sense. 
to go for from like a, dynas a dynastic perspective. So say dynastic. I don't know <laughs> if I can pronounce it that way without uh, somebody punching me. Okay, we need more friends. Okay, sorry, how does this happen here? Um, um, okay. So this empire title. Ah. Yeah, so this is the Blue Lions ending. Dimitri executes her. Um, and then Ferdinand destroys the title and becomes the new king of Adresia. Alright. Kind of a sick timeline. Um, there are still, like, Volkart, Von Arundel is still around. This is the, um, yeah, Slither Protection. He's a Slither in the Dark fella. The main one. friendly developments. The main differences between Duchess Judith and myself. One of them is a somewhat sorry state of the County of Eve. Um, her capital. We will absolutely waste money on that. Let's go. Oh. Improvidence is fun. This mine can't be upgraded. Okay. Um, my dear friend James has caught wind of my desire to improve my standing with Dutch Judith. Um, he wants help, but he wants a hook for it. Um. Hooks are a lot to give out to vassals. Uh, so I'm gonna avoid that one. All right. Just of generosity. Hmm. Exquisite gift. We already gave, like, a big gift. I don't know if this event makes sense to even come up. Um, but I will waste my money on it. <laughs> Let's go. Um, we need to make a duchy building. I don't know if we'll do like royal reserve or something. Um, council, I just realized we haven't been increasing development. Oh, social manipulation. We're compassionate, so we hate doing all of this. Mm. Uh, subtle threat of violence, I guess. Uh, 
had to be done. Don't hang on. Sure. Yes. Friendship is important. Let's go. on assist um okay we're almost done here we want either tax offices or royal reserves i think probably royal reserves for the development growth is going to be more important to us than the tax offices we might put tax offices up in our other duchy Closer than ever. Um. Yeah. The military duchy buildings aren't really up and running yet. Oh, our priest died, so we're gonna get an, a new one. Um, sure, uh, I'll give Ignatius this job, actually. Um, our counselor died, we have a new guy. Oh god, he's terrible at his job, okay. He's arrogant? No, this guy sucks. We're gonna fabricate a claim on his land. Um, we can petition Liege. We still don't have the money for the ones that we want. Okay. Um, we need 255 gold before we can do our next upgrade. Which will be Royal Reserves. Nice. Oh, okay. We're gonna do defensive negotiations, um, and I'm gonna try to propose an alliance. Um with somebody nearby. Shane's becoming our best friends. Nice. There we go. Hell yeah. Why am I swaying Ignatz when I could be befriending him? Okay, think about that later. Oh wow, his military strength is too much. <laughs> Why is it too much right now? Does he have- oh, he has special soldiers, okay. Being Gloucester, yeah, he gets a ton. Why can't I declare this war now? Hello? We couldn't do this one.
Um... I don't think it makes sense for us to do it regardless. Yeah. That's a weird one. I'm not sure why we can do it. Another diversion culture over there. Um, we're gonna try to make one of those. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much Max opinion. Uh, so I'm gonna stop that sway scheme. We want to have an alliance here. Uh, opinion isn't going to change it, though. Damn. Um. Hmm. No, we're going to get our royal reserves, like we said. Let's befriend him anyway. Make sure we're increasing development in the capital while we can. Um, our max, I think, is pretty high right now. Uh, yeah, we have urbanization, so... And plate armor, wow. We're gonna worry about our military eventually, but not right now. Now um, we will diverge our culture at some point. Kind of bureaucratic already, though. Uh, someone's trying to kill a creditor, Henry. Yeah, I can. Nobody likes that guy, apparently. The one that we could do is spiritual. Oh, a rival died. Natural causes age 51. That's pretty young. Bureaucratic makes a lot of sense for our current guy, so I think we're going to keep with Lester. Um, the Lester culture for now. We might switch to spiritual in the next generation. Oh, we are second in line in this election. First in line is this physician who's gonna die before Claude. Um, we're also gonna die before Claude. I'm not sure why suddenly we can all declare wars. It might be because the Adrestian Empire um, title doesn't exist. If I had to guess, like, the way they programmed it is that all of this land, you can't uh, attack out of it. But since the Empire doesn't exist, like, some check fails or something, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, 
This duke down here. Yeah, let's exchange a letter with him. Pleasant man. Let's check what petitions we can do. Fund a city, like, city holding in our... Yeah. That's the type of thing we want from him. Escorted to the throne room where he beckons for me as I approach to address him. I lay out my arguments for the development and settlement of Barwick in the county of Alfreton. Listing the benefits just as rehearsed. After some listening to the speech, he sits in silence for several moments as he mulls my petition over. It makes him get arguments, but if I am to agree to your request, I will need something in return. Surely you see benefit to both of us if we come to an arrangement. Um, so he wants us to pay part of it. Sure, I'll pay for part of it. We'll discuss politics. We're too dumb to talk about what he wants to talk about. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. Maybe, did I pick the wrong one there? I might have picked the wrong one. That would be pretty funny. I meant to pick the one that we knew more about, which would be diplomacy, I would think, but he also knows a lot about diplomacy. Okay. Oh, a little bit slow going. You allied with? Oh. Duclear died because of his poor physique. Well. That's, uh, sort of weird to read, but also, I guess, makes sense. We have another duchy building to make at some point. So where is the city being built? Is that in our capital? No. No. There it is. It's pretty cool. I would rather the coastal ones get done first. Um, there are coastal ones that aren't built yet, right? No. Yes, over here. <laughs> Um, but this one we'll have to make a temple over here, right? We can't just make a city here? Yeah.
Someone's trying to kill my husband. Wow. We're mostly gonna be chilling. We don't. We're not really on one of the like major fronts um, for war. Um, oh, this daughter is impatient. Okay, we need to have you be educated <laughs> by somebody. Um, she's doing a martial education. That's fine. Um, Philip's a good guy. He's the orphan that we took in a while back. Um, some more upgrades to be made. We need a trade port there. And probably a tax office over here. Uh, usually, I would go for one military one, um, but since the it's not like working right now um, in this build, they don't have the military duchy building set up. We're just gonna do the economic ones. And that'll help us pay for more men at arms anyway. So. And there we go, Claude now has a claim on all of Elmira. Let's see if he pushes it. Um... Yeah, his father died from his wounds at age 56. Um, okay. Um... <laughs> Let's send him some hair, I guess. Weird. Odd. Kind of weird, champ, but... Oh, it was destroyed. <laughs> Some sort of arcane ritual. I mean, you're right. The event just told me to do it. I, I don't know why. Yep, gonna keep importing tomatoes. <laughs> Just keep draining that money. To avoid those peasant uprisings for lack of tomatoes. Um, we want a court tutor as well. Um, Philip is already teaching our granddaughter, so he may as well be in charge there. Poetry from our lover, Claude. Wow. Almost like he received that gift and then remembered. Oh yeah, right. See it done. There we go. We can... Uh, we can finally revoke this title. From this vessel, we don't super like. Now, 
this mayor can be our steward. Oh my lord. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna keep importing tomatoes. It's so much money that just goes down the drain for that event. You're fucking kidding me. Well, whatever. They're not gonna rise against us. We're a popular figurehead. I'm just gonna stop paying for that. You're getting all the territory. Um, yeah, this isn't. Isn't gonna happen. So my master doesn't have any rivals or anything. Oh, yeah. So my master is very good and keeps finding schemes. This is a basic K3 thing. There's just a million schemes going on at all times. There we go. My land. Goodbye. He was terrible looking after his own land. kind of weird for us to demand a ransom as an improvident person. Um, kind of just did it automatically without thinking about it. So I'm Master Vassal and best friend. Yeah, we're going to let him keep that. So next, we need a tax office over here. It'll be 195. Oh, they don't have the innovation, what? Oh, they're still tribal? Oh god, okay, we're gonna have to convert this land to our culture. <laughs> That's awkward. Marshall has insulted King Ferdinand. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pay him off. Kind of sick how Ferdinand just kind of becomes king automatically at the end of the war if Edelgard loses. Um, let's look at the Empire title and its history. Man, it would be sick to invite you to court. Or like arrange a marriage with this child. So far away, though. Way out of diplomatic range. Uh, 
um, loyalty, clearly. Holy, you're not doing very well, are you? granddaughter um uh sibylla yeah i'll just let them pick the name keep the auto generated one um so that's two blood of the beast children Uh, so let's find, um, a marriage here that makes sense. Um, if you look at alliances, it's just a bunch of mayors in here. Uh, it's not very useful. Um, we have a couple commoners with relevant crests. That's a major crest of the beast. That would be useful to try to strengthen the crest in the bloodline. Yeah. There are two actually. There's not there's wait. So there's a minor and a major. The major is pretty far away though. If I recall Gressig is Yeah, you're like at least close to the Leicester Alliance, so that kind of makes sense. Um, of a relevant house. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Um... Oh! I don't even look at the Death Knight. How's what happened to the Death Knight? Felix married Mercedes. And uh I guess Yuritsa got deposed in the war. Yeah. He got abdicated um, as part of the special war. That's neat. Novice position makes a lot of sense for Marianne here. Um.
Our new land is pretty good. We're gonna put our farms and fields in it. Um, yeah. Control's increasing, slowly. I want to be upgrading here, but this Kupalan culture is so far behind. There's still tribal era, man. And that's rough. And we can't um, hybridize with them because they're the same. Uh, They've got the same heritage as us. Um, so it doesn't really work. Yeah, none of these are really gonna do anything. Um, go for confidants. How's our health? Not great. We're probably gonna die fairly young, which is good. Uh, <laughs> Um, because then we can actually make decisions as Marianne uh, before hitting 45. The point where we would have basically no say in um, how many children there are or anything. I can't believe this random physician is still winning the election. Uh, can we see why Claude is voting for her? She belongs to my family. She is a scholar. So weird. She's not my child minus 50. He's not my child minus 250. It's the kind of thing where he's voting for her because she's his heir, but she's his heir because he's voting for her. Um, oh, I guess it is her grandmother. Okay. That, or his grandmother. That makes more sense. That they're actually, like, related. But you would think he would vote for his literal children. We could try to make an alliance with Gonorill. Um, with our younger granddaughter. That would make some sense. Fellow vassal, sure. We'll exchange letters with her. No. Duchess Mercedes is not. <laughs> oh, I guess she is his leash. Guess he hasn't inherited yet. That's interesting. Um. Topic I'm knowledgeable about is what we're gonna do. deal would be good. I think that makes sense. It, it's kind of tough to judge.
Um, we have a couple upgrades that we can still do around. Like that forestry there. Um, and forestry there. Uh, we can petition Liege for what? We can try to urbanize another county. Sure, let's petition. Oh, and he did just do it for us. Yeah, there we go. We're building a new city. Perks of being lovers with the king, I guess. Or the leader um, of the alliance. Um, we've got a couple upgrades around to do. Like the basic buildings over here, even though we can't do the actual good ones yet. Um, like hill farms. And uh, pastoral lands. We're an architect, so I think it makes sense to keep building those. I mean, it's a good idea, regardless. To build up our income. 58 and still alive. Um... Disputed heritage genius. Oh my god, Lysithi's attacking Claude? In a tyranny war, did he try to revoke her titles? Holy shit. Just all the way over there. Focus on a piece of my own vassals. Yeah, they're too far away to care about them. Those neighbors. Um... Alright. Hunting grounds. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be the alliance that it's going to make the most sense, for sure. Is, um, Goneril. So Robert Goneril... Gonna try to marry our granddaughter to him. There we go. He doesn't have any crests or anything. In fact, none of his um, actual children have crests. None of his, um, yeah, none of his. He has an adopted child who has a crest, but that's it. Yeah, so Lysithia might become unlanded here. Um, I 
Um, yeah. Oh god, none of these buildings are good. <laughs> no money yet. I'm not even 100% sure, like, if these are working right now. I'm gonna do Groom to Rule. What the fuck? Well, uh, we might be restarting. <laughs> this is fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Died in childbirth. Well, that's CK3. Um... haven't really done anything in the meantime. Let's just see if this is set in stone. Please be okay. It's a question of whether it rolls this before. Or after. There's a tea time. Just recruit these guys. I don't see any reason to leave them in prison for four years like we've already done. Rodrigue has died. Okay. Have we broken the loop? No. Eight months. Fuck right off. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, usually I wouldn't cheat that, but, um... <laughs> for the fucking namesake character, I will reload. <laughs> I literally put your name in the title of the stream. 
don't die from random bullshit, please. Beatrice with Crest of the Beast. Sure. None of her three children have uh, crests, interestingly. Oh, wow. Her knight was slain. That's shitty. But, um, we're good. We just want to disband now. Um, okay, our second granddaughter needs an education. Is curious either diplomacy or yeah. Um, gonna be her mother. Learning focus. Nice. Do some upgrades around. Okay, we're gonna have to build some of these anyway. I'm gonna focus on getting the money buildings out first, and then we're gonna see um, what these change. Yeah, so like this one isn't gonna need it. Rodova has four money buildings that we can do. Kupala does not. And neither do the forests. Um, so for the forests, what options do we have? So there's one for cavalry. Um, then there's spear, axe, and sword. Um, we will probably do cavalry. Yeah. We've got cavalry up there, and then up here, we've got a cavalry there, and a pegasus one. So yeah. We'll do cavalry and pegasus upgrades and see how much that changes. Um, this. Uh, from Domain, we have archers up already. Is that from Hunting Grounds? We have a Hunting Grounds somewhere, right? We have three. Okay, I think it's broken. Yeah. It's giving very little actual bonus, because it's not a multiplier, it's just giving a plus. Oh no, it is. Okay, it is. That is a multiplier. 6% of 24.
Um, it's 1.4. Just double check that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it is working. It just looks like shit. <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, work in progress. I could literally be helping fix this exact thing right now if I just <laughs> if I just asked. I'm pretty sure they would let me just go through and fix all this. It might already be fixed in the dev build. Actually. Yeah, we only know etiquette, so. I'm just gonna pick that one every time that we do the exchange letters event. We can get more levies from doing the forest forts, but we're not going to do that. In Alperton, we're just going to... Yeah, none of these are going to give us money. Um, so we might have to start doing um, upgrade upgrades. this yeah we'll have to upgrade the money buildings that we do have and then we can start you know building up our mended arms and then we can make buildings that upgrade our mended arms i think that makes the most sense yeah, we're just kind of chilling we chilling we could expand north take like Heligorkin or these islands up here. I don't know why this guy would, though. I guess part of the religion to not... to not do this, um, even though it seems to not be working right now and the AI is doing it a little bit. I see you. Um, it wasn't Felix. It was uh, Rodrigue. Who was the problem there? None of these are going to give us relevant, like, differences in money. Um... Time event is cute, but I'm quite annoyed. Okay, it looks like in the election, Duke Holst is winning now. Um, it is Claude mainly who is voting for him. Uh, so what happened in that war, anyway? Lysithia lost. Um... Like, for sure. She must have. Um... Yeah, because uh, Claude would be deposed. 
Um, right. Yeah, so for sure. Um, she lost, but she did get to keep her land. Oh my god. Ferdinand? Ferdinand is attacking Claude for Mercedes's claim on a singular county. This one. Um, I will offer to join. Sure. Gonna come out here and declare war on uh, on the alliance. Interesting. Um, hmm. Man, Ferdinand becoming king of Adrestia is like a... Pretty sick dream. Wait. What happened to... Petra... She abdicated. Really? Uh... Oh my god, did me not paying attention really make this happen? Or are they gonna get out? Just uh, join up with them. And that's how we help. Um, no, he's giving money to us. We are improvident, so I'm actually going to give this to the poor. Who needs money anyway, right? What are we going to use that on? Upgrading... Our land so we make actual money? So this daughter is also doing probably learning education. Um, or no, she could do stewardship and be taught by Ignace. I like that idea. really going out to sea. Alright. <laughs> it's their war. We're just gonna let them do it. While we chill. Gout. Really? Her being a physician is actually helping with the, um... <laughs> with the depression. Uh... Cause that's countering penalties, yeah. <laughs> I 
she understands depression better than most people. I guess that's how it works. And next upgrade is arms and fields, but it's gonna be a while. Got the war goal. It's kind of shitty. Okay. Just not pay attention to the war. Um. New prisoners here? I don't see why we wouldn't just recruit them. We're compassionate and gregarious. We want new friends. They have more troops and supplies than us. And we're gonna fight them in a fort. Their fort. Yeah, that's not looking good. Blood might get captured here. some our grandson-in-law out. That's kind of shitty. Okay. Didn't expect us to get this far, to be honest. I thought we would die by now. At 64. We've had poor health for more than five years. fight us here. It's plains, so they might, even though it kind of looks like it might be hills. Yeah. Oh, we're escaping. War's not looking good, though. There will probably be a minor change to the borders. Even though this would be so easy to defend if we were playing um, as Claude. This one might go better, but probably not. Yeah, no. That's uh, Casper's. Oh wow, Casper was slain in battle. <laughs> Casper's dad leading that fight there. All right, there goes the upgrade. Um. How 
are we alive? Um, yeah, we're gonna kick her out. <laughs> Goodbye. Being shitty to her husband. How dare he? How dare she? Map. Wow. Somebody else scheming. You could have thought, do we have any rivals? We don't. We don't. Yeah. That's not us. Yeah, we did at some point, but not anymore. Um, we're gonna disband. This war's over. Losing two battles is enough for me. Oh, we finished promoting culture. So, um... We'll be able to make our tax offices, um, eventually. Twenty-five for this. Um, we will promote culture in our other Kupala territory. Um, we are going to expand at some point. <clears throat> it's just not going to be soon. And I, I really don't want to take the Church of Saros land. First of all, because it makes no sense for us to do it. Oh, we've died. <laughs> you get a great Bedman has left this world at 66 years of age. Died of old age, a conscientious man who is renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and as a ruler. Such as Marianne ascends to the, thr to the throne. A pious and humble woman, many fear that Marianne may be better suited for a church rather than the throne. Uh, yep. Pretty much not sure we got all the titles. Continue. Priest endorses us, of course, because it's her husband. Um. I should have paid more attention to that. Uh, the singing probably didn't make much sense. We went down the scholar tree automatically. Okay. Um, that is fine. Um, I would have thought theology... Those stats. We're pretty healthy. I'm not really worried about that right now. We reset. Yeah, it's going to be critical. Okay. I'm going to hit Theology Focus here. 
These are not useful to us, actually. And we're not like zealous. Okay, we'll do scholarship. Um, Marianne is not like Mercedes, right? And she prays with purpose. Uh, in part one. Um, spoilers, but oh wow. Yeah, so be it. The war's over. Uh, council positions. I should probably fix these before I unpause all of a sudden. <laughs> um, very weird of me. Um, we're content, so we're probably just gonna chill most of the time. Our court tutor is our rival. Wow. Okay. I wonder how that happened. We're not giving him a court position, that's for sure. Why is her husband and not our seneschal now? Oh, because our husband can't be a seneschal, obviously. Okay. Well, we don't need a seneschal right now, anyway. We do need a new physician, though. Because we don't have one of those. Which uh, Martin can do. Uh, stop unpausing, though. <laughs> Candidates, um, would we vote for ourselves? We're content. Um, I think we would vote for whoever Claude is voting for. Yeah. So, Juliana von Regan, stop unpausing. <laughs> <laughs> keep doing it. Um, would we pay homage? We're shy. Um, so we're not going to do this right away. And we're probably not going to petition much. This is more expensive now. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've changed characters. All right. Um. Yeah, no reason to really up crown authority either. We're just kind of chilling. We're not trying to murder anybody, no. Uh, we have no secrets. Okay, yeah, not a lot going on here. No, uh, we were given the position of Chancellor. It's an interesting choice. <laughs> I don't know if we want that position. Um, we do have a ward, our second daughter. Is 
can get our son-in-law out of prison after that now that war is over. Insists I need it. Uh, perhaps we can come to an agreement. Yeah, no, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need that book specifically. Um, we like books, but we're not going to spend a fortune on a book from this random guy. Without knowing anything about it. Stats are pretty impressive. The zero diplomacy, two martial. Learn on the job is helping. Not enough for diplomacy, though. All right. Here are our uh, tax offices. And now we're mostly chilling. Um, we're probably not going to finish this second generation tonight. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to stream again tomorrow. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to stream. Hey, pregnant. That's good. Um, I'm going to be working full time starting soon. Soon-ish. Solitude in the Great Hall. Uh, daughter's becoming shy. Yeah, we're not the type to <laughs> say that's a bad idea. Shy, humble, and content is basically us. wants a necklace. Let's offer him a favorite. A favor. Um, it's a mayor. I'm hoping it's not a big deal. They're already on the council. We are going to pay homage. Um, 
We are shy. So it's kind of hurt. Um, memorize a section on moderation. So weird. Husband and priest. That is how it happens, though. These borders. <laughs> Little chunk. Ooh. Oh my god. Wait, why are you my heir? Lovely idea, you want to name the child after me. Why are you my heir? Okay, no, it was a glitch. So I guess it gave her... It thought she had a crest for a second. But she doesn't, she just has the blood of the beast. Alright, we need to set up a marriage for that daughter at some point. Um, allying with Claude generally seems like a good idea. We can set that up for the youngest. Um, just because their ages are closer, I'm usually like, it doesn't make sense to set it up that or when they're that young. But I just don't want to forget and miss the window. <laughs> Time passes quickly. The, um, it was me, I farted event doesn't. <laughs> We're definitely not going to pick that as a shy character. with Gautier. That would kind of make sense, given our position. Wow. Okay. It's the Eastern Church, so who cares if they have an alliance, or uh, a claim on us, really. It's nonsense. Um, Mm. 
That's unfortunate. Um... This one not gonna work either. No. Damn. Okay. We are a scholar. We're gonna go down pull the body. To try not to die. Being depressed already makes that difficult. Double crest that's going on. Wow, Fraldarius blood. <laughs> There's only one person who is here who had Fraldarius blood, and it was my father in law. <laughs> Not father in law, stepfather. So your father. Er, wait, no, that doesn't make sense at all. Never mind, because he's... No, he's not dead. He's still around. Lions with a -Lil. I guess that makes sense. There we go. should apologize. We're not going to fight him over it. There we go. You already have a guardian. You don't have a guardian, but you're one, so... Daughter and ward is becoming zealous. and none of them have a crest. That is a little odd. Um, it's in our culture. Crest succession. So if we have even one child who has a crest, they're gonna inherit ahead of our four daughters. And there we go. Soulmates. We can no longer become soulmates because we are already soulmates. Seen a lot of this coming up. <laughs> uh, those type of things coming up. Like obvious things like, oh, this, you had to you had to end this scheme because you finished it. It's like, yes, that's how that works.
good. And we're pregnant as well. Nice. Um, yeah, let's do the money upgrades as we can. Snowball away. Wow, nothing was resolved. Haunted by the dead, wow. The air has the minor crest. Five children, only one of them got the crest. Um, I do want to diverge culture at some point here. Constance, sure. Mm, yep, that's five daughters and kindness born for mother many children. Hey. <laughs> Little modifier there. Um You have five daughters, none of them have the crest. We're 44, so we might have another one. Um, I don't know if we can speed that up. Nope. Already soulmates. Nothing we can do. We're chilling. Um, Daughter and heir who has her. Yeah, my heir's heir has the crest. Look at that. Jordan von Edmund. Sure. Yeah, that's looking like it. Like it. Five daughters, none of them have crests, but the heir, at least, has a child who has a crest. So that is something. Wow, Lorenz is having... I was going to say bad luck with children, but he literally killed his son. What was the context? 
no context, just murder. All right, sure. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. We live in blessed times. Yeah, she just became the savior. You sure are, aren't you? the traitor be known to all. This might come up later. This trait here. Uh, get ridden. We're content, so we're just gonna do the basics. Yeah. Living with goat. Sorry, it's pushing into string territory. Real wildly known. Yeah. Um, just becoming diligent. Yep, we're not gonna. We're not gonna say no to that. Counselor died of natural causes. The new one is a dishonorable villain. Well, we need to do something about that, don't we? Glasses. Um, take notes. Help me out. Physician, better outcomes is going to be important for us because we're going to be going to see the physician pretty often. This push is a bit odd. Bit disappointing that still happens, but... You know. What are we gonna do? one against Duke Wolfram. Ah. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. Rhea is still ill. I guess she might just be ill forever now. Um, I know there are ways for that to happen. Oh, actually. Is that because? Oh, 
of the ending. We're sorry, we're not going to fish in Leech over anything. Even though it would probably be a good idea for us to. Pretty happy just chilling in our one duchy. Um, we want to eventually win the election for the alliance, um, but there's no need to do that right now. Oh wow, he allied with King Ferdinand after the war. To prevent future conflict. Kind of based. Wow, Macula is now a vassal of um, of Fargus. Kind of neat. Certainly, is a way for that to go. Um, Do I not put the name of the mod in the title of the video of the stream? <laughs> really? That doesn't. I could have sworn I did. Okay. Well, I might have to change that um, after the stream. Change the video. That's very odd of me to do. I'm gonna send the thumbnail. Oh, daughter has pneumonia. We have to be cautious. Yep, health is fine. Pneumonia doesn't last forever. Um, youngest daughter isn't three yet, so no education focus. I think lifespans would be longer just because we have, um... Like, healing magic? Starving. Something's going on there. Hmm.
All right. Not sure when a good stopping point is going to be. All right, we have a holy site that gives a health boost. Um, yeah, that's the one that starts as being um, sickle light. Are there any super based versions of the faith that I just haven't seen? They grow fast. Um. We just had an ammonia scare, so wash your hands, I think, makes sense here. Okay, so... Oh! We recovered from gout. Finally paid off. I don't know how we got Gout as a content character in the first place. Kinda weird. Um, so we have martial learning, stewardship. Okay. You can do intrigue. We will do diplomacy. And then we have all of them. So you can be educated by, um... Husband, and you... Good old Ignatz. And be educated by... Oh, Um, if you're doing diplomacy, wow. We all suck. Um... I guess. Okay. I have good enough learning that this is gonna be better than other options. Oh! A promising orphan. She has the crest of Dominic. Uh, basically, Ignatz is saying, let's adopt this child. I'll adopt this child. And then because of inheritance law, doesn't that make you my heir? No, you're disinherited, so I would have to... I would have to allow inheritance. Which we could do. That's... I think I'm gonna leave her as disinherited. Because we don't really agree with the Crest Inheritance Law anyway. So this is sort of an easy way for us to get around it. As a character. Um, yeah.
which means you need an uh, educator. You're doing learning. I guess I'll educate you. Yeah, we could allow inheritance here. I mean, we were adopted. Um... Hmm. It's interesting, at least. Oh, there we go. Second daughter is married. We actually, oh yeah, sure, let's, no, let's not do that right now. So we can just upgrade this, can't we? We don't have the innovation? Wow. Oh, we are declaring war for Almira. Um... We'd like Claude, so we might help with this, actually. Well, we're not really being pulled into it. We're content and humble and ch Yeah, we're just gonna chill. Claude isn't, like, pulling us into it, so... sent over. Friends with a fellow vassal. Yeah, we're shy. We don't want to see this guy. <laughs> um... around we're making a lot of money um, and there is our claim on our vassal who we don't like very much site that gives us a health boost, so I'm not really worried about that right now. <laughs> New spy master. Um, we can move our steward over and then give this mayor the job. We'll chase them down. Um, we got some prisoners. Um, who we have nothing against. So we're just going to let them out. There we 
go. And we finish Rodent Culture. my title. However, you can leave. Increase control in our new land there. Increase development. Uh, second daughter has a son, Walter, who also has minor crest of the beast. Um, nice. I don't know why all my grandchildren have the crests, but my children don't. Adopted one. Okay. We have two children who don't have marriages set up for them. This grandson also needs to be educated. Um, um, by his aunt is probably a good idea. and we would take one of our other wards off and we would do that one ourselves. Another promising orphan, wow. No, we really don't care. We're going to keep doing that. <laughs> Okay, you need a guardian. And now we need three marriages. Um, the disinherited children? I don't mind. Um, not related. <laughs> you orphans, not okay. Same crest as this person. Too many alliances, wow. Alright, well I guess we're not going to worry about them then that much. Um, 
about her health and uh, this non-adopted child. Just a bin deck. Um, We already have alliances around um, impossible for us to get this one. It is, so that'll be like the last alliance we can realistically get. Yeah, that's not gonna happen though, because it needs to be matrilineal if it's that daughter. Okay. Thrifty clerk. Um, just realized. Okay. Um, all right, I see this. So, even though they're adopted, children can't marry their um, aunts and uncles, regardless of adopted or not. <laughs> I was wondering about that, so I went to check it. But yeah, those adopted children, we can't just marry off to our grandson here. is probably a good thing, to be honest. Uh, which means I don't really have anything else to do with those children. Um, so this marriage is starting to make a lot more sense. Um, I would rather have a Gloucester Alliance. Which doesn't look that realistic. Okay. Daphne Alliance. You didn't adopt any children. Alright. Well, this is fine. Yeah. We're not going to do crest priority marriages. Um, I want to stick mostly 
in the alliance. Uh oh. Maybe it's Duke and Mary. Uh, content? That's fine. Yeah, I would rather keep these marriages in the alliance. The last two might just have to stick around, though. Not like it's, it's like a, a massive priority to have every child have a relevant marriage, you know? Yeah, there's really no reason. Looks like Claude is winning his war with Almira. <clears throat> so that'll be interesting. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of internal wars as that kind of that's that as that stuff gets sorted out. Um, We may see even a, um, a hybrid culture formed later. We'll have to see. Speaking of it, we can do our divergence. Oh, we don't have a thousand. Uh, we would do a spiritual divergence. Probably. Child Heritage Secret. Um. Yeah. This one is a child of Claude's, of course. We already knew that Claude had lovers, because our father was one of them. Leave the skies be. The celestial realm is for the clear cheater now. Uh, sure. I'm not really sure which one of those makes more sense, but uh, yeah, here's the new Lester Alliance. Yeah, everybody's voting for um, the daughter who has the crest instead. All right, fine by me. I'll I'll bite. Who's voting? Judith and Holst are both voting for 
Lysithia, who doesn't have a vote herself. Um, she's probably gonna die before, uh, before that. Before there's any chance of that happening, though. Uh, we will embrace the Libacy. I mean, we're pretty old at this point, so it's not gonna matter much. All right. Um. Wow. You are the traitor. Yeah, okay. War against the tyranny of Leader Claude. I don't think they're gonna win. We sort of knew that was gonna happen. Um, Claude takes Almira. The Almirans don't want to accept him. They rebel. I'm part of a friend. My daughter here. Um gonna pin this grandson since he's probably inheriting. Hair is pregnant. I think everybody has a guardian. Yeah. still to do in Edmund. Um, she's becoming shy. That's fine. That's just how all of our children are gonna be, I guess. Just kind of chilling. Stuff's gonna happen later. Um, right now, though. It's not a lot going on. Coming humble. Sure, humble diplomat. Oh, where did that go? Well, 
I think we were being called to war. Yeah, we were being called. And we take the stress because of a, a thing that happened there. A little bit messy. Um, I think I closed the window. So we're joining against our ally, which is kind of weird. Um, I maybe should have paid more attention to what that war was before agreeing to it. Maybe. Gonorrhoea consolidating power is a little bit of a problem for us. going to opportunist opportunistically offer to join the war here. Um, to catch this little army out. Ignace von Edmund got the crest. Oh my god. All of my grandchildren children have crests. I, I guess that just happened. You are the exception, Mahav. Um, impatient learning education. Nice. You are not. Alright, let's hope we get there in time. Um, uh, Ignatz wants a book. Sure. We haven't got the event to try to cure depression yet. Um, which, you know, might... Um, might kill us if it did come up. Oh my god, really? We're losing that? Oh, that's funny. Rip Gerald. Well. We tried. Uh, our son is 10. Oh. Trying to siege us. Um, Grandma. 
grandson is 10. Um, our physician died. Our best option is our daughter. Oh my god, because I have less troops now. He took my... Uh, He took my chancellor position away. I'm not a powerful vassal right now. Alright, this time we win. the chance to roll again. Thanks. And uh, we should probably stop there. You know what? I'm gonna find a marriage for this kid. Um, it's a shame that he has the crest. Um, but we might... I think regardless of his status as a crest bearer, um, we are going to filter by mail here. Um, Jesus Christ, what is this relevance list? Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, that works. Okay. Um. Okay, never mind. Uh, just go by relevance and. Child. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense, does it? there's a way to let unmanned unlanded characters like <laughs> pick marriages and stuff um sure He has a crest. Oh, it's... I'm being pulled in different directions by my brain right now. Half of my brain is screaming at me like, this kid has a crest, you should be trying to keep that crest. The other half is like, okay, but yeah, but he would be unhappy. Whatever. He's just gonna have a lover. <laughs> That's just gonna happen. Um...
Yeah. Okay. Um, there's not gonna be an alliance here. Uh, so we can just look around for relevant ones. Lincoln Goneril or Gloucester. Daphnel is gonna get inherited by Claude. For sure. Um sorry, your primary heir is <laughs> would be very funny. If uh, Walter here ended up inheriting. Yeah, it's not going to happen. They're also like 16 years apart. Um, Ralt Darius, I could also see, but I doubt this is happening. Yeah. They would want a matrilineal marriage for sure. Uh, there's really nothing relevant around. My, my standards are too high for picking marriages. I think I've said this before. Um, we could try to get a county there. In inheritance, that would be neat. We did this. Yeah, not gonna happen though. We're not diplomatic enough to set up those fancy marriages. And we're not, like, we don't have enough intrigue to uh, force them. <laughs> Um, okay. Galatea would be interesting, but there's, there's nothing there. Yeah. Because it's a potential heir that I start to get picky with marriages. This is an interesting concept. Um, So we would get, I believe, divine blood from this. Um, Just 
House von Arendel. This is probably a bastard child. Because <laughs> they don't have the crest. Okay. I mean, this is an interesting concept, but they consider us evil, so... on Raldarius here. But there's no way they accept this, right? <laughs> oh! Really? I mean... I see what's happening here. Okay, it's getting split up because Felix had a daughter with a crest. So Mercedes' children are not inheriting Felix's land, even though they were married. That's very interesting um I mean let's try it okay I like this idea. My heir's heir marries, um, who is really Mercedes's heir, but not because patrilineal inheritance, uh, complicating things. Sure, let's do it. And there is a marriage set up. Um, now, there is... Um, there was a little bit of an incest worry there that's happening because... Um, this guy is the same house. Right. Yeah. So they're like distant cousins. That's not that's not that bad. I've I've seen worse. I've seen worse in Fire Emblem. Um, alright. So let's just have that alliance set up, and that's the last thing we're doing today, and I'll probably be back tomorrow. Um. I'm gonna try to stream regularly again. Um. 
whether I'm doing this or something else, but um, that's already four hours. Um, Marianne's probably going to live for a while because she's going to get a whole body, but um, we'll try to finish this um, tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to stream out of nowhere or something. I'm not sure. We're going to try to finish this generation. Yeah, in the m in the morning. Who knows? Twelve-ish hours from now. <laughs> um, I'll try to finish this generation. But that is it for now. Um. And I will see you then.